What's up guys welcome back to youtube channel thank you so much for checking out this video so this video is a little bit special so again the live commentary is here for you guys and i can't wait to check it out because it's a solo duo gameplay but i gotta be honest with you guys i've been hiding one of the biggest secrets from you guys for probably the past two weeks so if you guys stop by the stream twitch.tv slash lucky chamu you guys already heard yesterday but we got an official one of the biggest sponsors ever and it's a controller company battle beaver now i've been using their controllers secretly for about two weeks during these live commentaries you've seen the last couple videos and today my code finally went live for 10 percent off real quick i mean this controller go crazy we got a blue color scheme along with the red background with the white color plates but that's not all a lot of features that i added uh, i'm going to be explaining to you guys in the end of the video and this has helped me with a faster fire rate reaction time overall my performance and you'll see in this game has improved drastically and if you guys haven't noticed man it's been going crazy especially over twitch people and ask me what are you, what are you using let me see your controller and i can't show them because it's been this big secret so again man at the end of the video we're going to be building the controller that i specifically use and all the features that you can't see that are built in the controller at the end I'm explaining them all to you and if you guys want to build your own battle view of your controller now's the day to do it because they have a sale going for black friday and cyber monday you're a bunch of sales going faster shipping and additional with my 10 percent off code so if you guys want help building your controller make sure you guys hit me up on twitter throw, throw the twitter at ian and uh, yeah man we're gonna jump into some live commentary let me know what you guys think and oh we are close to 6k subs our goal is 6.9k by christmas so make sure if you guys aren't subbed already please sub and drop a like peace out guys all right, so obviously a lot of people in chat are saying they don't vibe out with solos too much. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it. Uh, we haven't done a solo gameplay in a while. Now, obviously, throughout the seasons, everything going to change. Everything good or bad is going to change for us. So I figure, you know, as people's play styles start to change, we have the fire shot, all this other stuff. Why not, you know, get some solo games in here? And one of the things, a lot of things are going to change how you play solo quads. If you're trying to solo quad, you know, that's one thing. But here we got solos. So something maybe you guys are trying to relate to that we can get going. We throw on the audio right here and we get going. Here we go. I'll show you guys how to play fast placed uh, solos and how to p keep up your tempo, all right? I seen somebody, I missed it, say, um, I think it was Keegan. Hold on, let's go ahead and get a gun first. One player deeper. It seems like he only has a pistol in hand. This is good for us. Now, the beautiful thing about solos is you can actually play fast depending on, you know, your play style. Boom. No one has to go for the full kill. Saves you a lot of ammo and you're situated. One plate's all you need. You, want, you you always have to expect the third party, but it, uh, the, the, that you um you had you 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 could. The style of solos depends on really just how fast you play. Got another player here. That he work with now. Door's gonna be closed. Boom, Denny's gonna re-up on that. Now we have three kills, and I'm kind of picking up the pace because I want to show you guys, like, yes, yeah, Solos is very campy, but it doesn't mean you have to camp yourselves. You can actually pick up your, your own pace. And play at a, at a pace that you want to. You don't always want to kind of substitute your play style for somebody else's just because of the game mode you're playing. That's something I don't want you guys to ever do. Always kind of control your own play style, and the best way to do that right here is to show you guys going kill for kill having the daddy to work with as well now here comes the campy part right this is something that we all have to deal with but watch how i'm still playing fast but if you know which corners to check and you have a you have a set land spot i can't promise this 100 percent, but you'll kind of know where where to check what to check and it'll pick up the pace very very fast so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab We're gonna go grab this bounty and we're gonna pick up the pace that way. Bro, great advice. I was just grinding Nuketown and everyone was being campy. I really should pick up the pace and drop 33 and 7. Exactly. Just because everybody else is camping, you guys don't have to camp yourselves, okay? Never do that. I don't want any of you guys to feel that you have to do that. We get this. 
bounty to work with now. No buy station, but we can go work this bounty. He'll get our eco flowing. I would honestly, if if I had the buy station, I probably would go buy myself a UAV um, and fly at this, but we don't have that, obviously. We have Denny to work with though, so this player camping top red, we should be fine. Again, picking up the pace. Also, a side note, if you want to play really, really fast, a lot of these people, we're going to live mark him, kind of see where he goes. See my jump. So we're gonna jump, we're gonna go on the right hand side, see if he goes. But a lot of people don't go for a lot of people go for their loadouts off rip. Pop this, we're gonna fly up here now. I might have popped it too early. I do like to pop it just one floor up, just so my daddy lasts. But we got a full sprinter right now. Pop it here. He doesn't hear anything just yet. That's a knock. He's gonna have self revive. That's the beauty about solos. We also have another daddy to re up on. And we have money. Now let's see, there's no buy station at all. The only buy station is here. Nothing at airport. We could go back here. Uh, let's Now we're gonna slow down our own gameplay. We have forward 94, which is a good start for solos. But considering our money, I don't want that to go to waste. Because having the having this amount of money in solos isn't something that comes up very often. Because you're only running to one person. So the cash flow is only relied on one person. So if that person is not buying any loot, guess what? You killing them, not gonna have anything. Um, you're not gonna have any money coming in from that this not says you got control freaks open use my code sexy let's go back and fight this person he doesn't have his loadout he's missing a couple shots pick it up boom got him now we also have a trophy to work with now last time i threw on a trophy out in the open i got shot we're gonna do it really fast kind of play our 50 50 take our car and go to the loadout now of course you know i could just tell by the way they're playing i could tell if a player's aggro if they're they're a fast police player if they're a good player with him missing all his shots i i, I can obviously tell he wasn't the best of players we get this we're gonna throw this right right away we're gonna throw it inside pick up our daddy gonna get uav gonna get another uav and a self is the least of our warriors there's a guy actually inside here so we're gonna try to go around here he is right here is little guppy and he's playing campy this 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 is the people who play slow and you don't have to play at their speed you can pick it up you can fly at people it's just a matter of making sure that you yourself are playing fast find those campers make sure you're not waiting till end game to look for your kills in solos man you want to be able to find those kills super super early on because nobody has ghosts nobody's situated and you can fly you know what i mean it's something that a lot of people you know don't think about and uh, oh now do we go ghost ourselves we are playing solos so we could go ghost ourselves so that we're hidden and no one else is okay let's go ahead and pop this pop this we're gonna get another one now we have extra money for self revive so now we'll buy it we usually don't need to buy especially in solos but if we have the extra money right then then by all means we can Let's go here. Let's go kill this solo. Then we have a couple people coming in from storage. So we want to make sure we're playing this kill fast. We can't waste more than, I would say, 30 seconds as soon as the gun, gun engagement starts with this fight. Because that's where your time starts to get torched. Go right here. We're going to park this bad boy. Go this way. Jump up here. And go up a window he's not expecting. Get the full kill there. And boom. Now he's dead. This guy's out in the open. We can fly towards that. Switch back to the kilo. Make sure it's reloaded. Have it in hand as you drive. And what we do is... We don't want this to be a 50-50 fight. We're going to pop that UAV. And fly towards this guy right here. He's actually camping right here. I'm not even going to get out the car. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Good shots on his part. I think he had stopping power. I'm not sure. But very good shots on his part. I didn't have to get out the car. I wanted to keep the momentum. Stopping power now could go on my gun. This player's gonna come out towards me now. He's gonna be weak enough to push. Good sniper on his part. Let's see if he can hit a shot. Is this is gun better than stopping power. That's the question. No, it's not. Nine kills. Nine kills now with 66 up. And again, we're not expecting a 40 bomb. We're not expecting a 50 bomb. But we are expecting a high kill game. Anything in the 20s on solos is really good. So that's how you can pace yourself. Now we gotta look for a buy station. Go back to where we originally were. Hopefully a player we killed here previously who was camping is flying back and trying to get recovered. Well, we can go to UV and fly there. Hey, Smooth, I'm glad I could help you, baby. I have a lot of these videos on YouTube if you're ever interested in it, okay? We're gonna go here, throw this. Go here. Pop! Another guy coming up behind us. Let's see if he comes this way. He's not. We have another guy flying in, though. 
coming in from fire. I knew this player was here originally. Jump shot that. That's going to be not going to get the full kill ASAP. We got another player over here deeper. What does he have? Not something I want, I'm guessing. We have another UAV to cycle. We also have a loadout dropping in perfect timing a minute in. But look at how the lobby's dying. The lobby is, it's a first drop. It's a first circle. And we're already at 59 people. There's nothing you can control. There is nothing you can control about that. So what we got to do is just keep up our pace. Keep sure we're playing. Making sure that we're playing at a pace that we're comfortable with. Not too fast and not too slow. Now let's just say you're, you find a pace that it's your average pace. You play it all the time. We'll pick it up just a little bit. Play a little bit faster, okay? Play your kills a little bit faster. See how long the fights are actually taking you and speed it up just a little bit. When you have that in mind, that's where you can find your comfortability. You want to be comfortable, but you also want to get yourself out of that comfort zone just a little bit as well. This player is going to be going out front. I'm going to do the same play where I go switch cars. Get him. That's a full kill. He's going to be upset about that, I believe. We're going to be able to get the bounty. We also have a lot of money here to work with. That car play is really helpful, especially when you're playing solos. Because when you're playing solos, right? Let's see. Mark over here at hangers. When you're playing solos, right? You only have to worry about one guy. So you can really, really pay, play fast. You can really work those kills. That bounty's going to pull towards one of the two people we saw, saw on radar. So now this UAV could just help us with one person rather than two. And I'm sorry if I'm not reading chat. I do want to get these live commentaries out for people who are enjoying them. And, uh, you know, make sure they hear everything they need here. Now, who are we going to go for first? We have one player out here who just jumped off the side of the building. We have three over here. We have a person top. We're going to go actually for this guy. So first because we also have a lot of time for that bounty same play same play he actually missed a bunch of shots the bounty is actually gonna win that fight we saw the person in the tower let's see does he have a sniper a lot of people tend to run snipers in solos he's not but there's a player in that direction what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fly out in the open and i'm gonna try to get a uav without him both these players being too contested now this is something that's a riskier play it is a riskier play but again this is where you get out of your comfort zone you do something you nor won't normally would to get these extra picks so this player is kind of chilling up here while this player is down low we want to get out of the line of sight of the guy in the tower and work this solo kill by itself come right here Good shots right there. He's also going to get shot in the back by the guy in the tower. We don't have to worry about the loot. We have a UAV. He doesn't have a lot of money. So it's not going to profit that much either way. Making sure we don't get sniped. If he does hit a snipe, that's good on his part. We just want to make sure we're doing our best to get out of it. Pop this. Get another one. Now we're going to wait till the storm pushes him out. Got to go for a peek. He's still up there. I'm going to wait here because our UAV is about to run out. I want to be able to pop another one and buy one and make sure we're at that pace as well. I'm trying to see if I can find him. Let's put this up right here so I kind of know which angle to take. There we go. Okay. He's not going to move here, so we're going to get this. We're going to get this. And move while we can so he doesn't get any cheeky snipes on us. Good damage on his part. Switch seats. Jump out so we get on the... Other side, go for some shots here. No armor on him. That's probably going to be a full kill just right there. Now we're going to lose the car. So it's a good snipe on him. It's not going to kill me. It's not going to kill me, but it's going to chalk our car. We're fine on our rotation, though. Switching seats on that car, too, is another beautiful play. So what happens is I switch seats. So instead of getting out on the left-hand side, I'd actually get out on the right-hand side. Um, somebody asked, why didn't I pull the streak there? The reason I didn't use the streak there was because I want to keep my cash flow for UAV specifically. Right now, a lot of people in chat were talking about how when they play solos, the specific game mode of solos, not just solo quad, solo trio, solo duos, is when they play this game mode, it's very, very slow. They are something that, you know, they want to be able to play solos, enjoy it when they're playing against campers like this person up there. So I'm trying to show them, you know, the, the best way to do that. Now, of course, that precision or that cluster wouldn't have been a bad play. It probably would have killed them as well, but it would have slowed me down, not from that fight, but without having a UAV inbound. Now we're out in the open. We still have Gooch to work with, so I'm not worried about it too much. We have a guy top TV, so let's go work, working on our choke point. Now, I don't want to tunnel vision and expect this is the only player there, right? I want to be aware that there might be more in our surroundings i have an itch on my nose let's go ahead and pop this now one guy neighborhood i'd rather go take a fight that i know for sure there's somebody there than just banking off a gunshot in the distance so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and head towards a neighborhood see if i see them crossing on my left hand side and we're gonna make sure this guy neighborhood doesn't move either 
Yep, there's the guy. I'm looking for top TV. Let's see if we can be actually get this pick beforehand. Find a good cross for him, which should be right here in the open. So we'll hold this cross. We'll slow down our tempo because he's going to be the one coming down our, our area. And he'll have to move, I think, before me. See the gas coming in. Don't hear anything just yet. So unless I missed it, not sure where this player went. He could be behind me. I want to get back into cover. I don't want to be out in the open because if I do take a fight here, I don't have a lot of areas to bob and weave from. We also have Deddy to work with. We know there's guys somewhere to our left, which is kind of scary. And out in the open to our right. So our rotation is a little chalked here. You wait, V. That's going to be perfect. There is a guy on the hill behind us. We also have these guys stadium so we'll go for the guy behind us and the reason why we're going for the guy behind us is because if we go for the guys on orange this guy behind us has a big opportunity to get a get an easy pick on us while we're flanked unfortunately i thought that floor was a little bit more leveled throw some nades over there shots on him he's down look for the last ping Heavy, heavy, heavy on orange. Heavy on orange and in front of us. We want to get one more UAV, so we'll take that extra time to go back and buy one. With that player's money, we're going to have that 6k. So that was the player I was looking for off in the distance. Be able to seclude that fight. 15 now with 32 up. Again, anywhere between a 20 and up is going to be a good pace for you guys when you guys are playing solos. Uh, again, it's not a 40-50 lobby. If it is, that's the world's record. Um, even then, 40 and 50s are really good to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this before I rotate because I'm a little bit aware of where everyone's at. A lot of people on their left-hand side. We're going to mark that. We're going to rotate this way. We're not going to worry about our right-hand side. We want to dedicate either left or right. We don't want to go work on ourselves down the middle because um, that's going to split the stadium. And we're not going to... At the end of the day, we're just going to be rotating through if that's if that's the play. We're going to try to get up here. We have another player up top. I believe they're both taking covers behind trees. I want to get in this fight. I see him now. Get the full kill on that. Now the player on top, orange, we could kind of look. He has a sniper. Good shots on his part. Let's go for a reach out. But I'm pretty sure his rotation is going to go up more deeper, not towards me. At least that would be the logical play. So we're not even going to worry about that player wasting too much time on a fight that doesn't matter. We know there's players on the opposite side of stadium, so we can go work that. And now we're getting end game. So we gotta we can't keep playing at the pace we did at the start of the game as we were flying. Remember how we were flying left, right, left, right? We gotta slow it down a little bit. We have to slow it down just a little bit. Because a lot of players might have ghosts. A way to counter that ghost is gonna be this bounty. So instead of being out in the open, not knowing where everyone's at, not having the UAV, not having the eco cash flow as we did in the beginning, we're gonna be able to get this bounty. And hopefully it not being sh It not being shocked we're gonna be able to get it there's some more money now to get with we're also gonna have a he didn't even hit a shot on me we're also gonna have a gas mask which i actually was missing that i wasn't aware of get this we're playing in front of us there's no buy station so let me ask you this in chat in this particular scenario don't mind what i'm doing but do you guys go back for a uav or do you guys go play the bounty pick and i'll tell you why i do one or the other oh another uav w Let's go ahead and pop this just so we're clear on our rotation. Again, a lot of players can be ghosted like the player we just ran into. There's a player above us. I think he's flying in, actually. Yeah, he's flying in, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Go back for the UAV. Buy a UAV. We're going to buy a UAV. We're going to pop a UAV. We're going to keep a UAV. And we're going to rotate now. Now we're going to see where do we got to rotate to. We have a couple people here. I, my deal is I don't want to go straight down stadium and the reason being is because after this I have to cross this open dam with really no help at all But then again actually looking back at it for a second time I'm looking at the vehicles now the vehicles are gonna be a big help for the rotation So we're gonna actually do that. I was gonna second guess myself and go into downtown specifically for the vehicles I thought I heard somebody could be the chopper. I'm not a fan of the choppers for that reason but Going back for the UAVs is crucial because you, if you spend an extra, what, I spent 10 seconds, 15 seconds, let's just say, for argument's sake, going back. Well, that gives me information, that gives me pings, and now I know where to rotate to and how to rotate. If you don't take that time and you kind of blatantly just push something, look at this bounty. He ended up being a guy in a car, so we're not even going to be able to get that kill. Oh, let's go. Rotate this way. I want to pop another UAV, but I'll probably want to pop it once I get close to this 
buy station real quick right here because I want to be able to f counter them. I mean, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, cycle them. I'm gonna pop this and get this back inside. A lot of people over here. So this is where we eat up. This is where we can back, go back, pick up our pace and kind of fly this way. Uh, two guys on orange. Bounty might get poached. We'll know in about two seconds. It didn't. We're actually parking right here. We're gonna get the kill on him. Get that. We're gonna cycle this again. There's another player on the outskirts coming in. We can go fly towards that kill. Especially because he's gonna be out in the open. I'm not sure where he's at, so I'm gonna throw the pink here so I know generally where to look. Just enough shots to put him down. 22 bullets to work with. I gotta keep that in mind as I fly towards this. He's not landing any shots just yet. He's gonna have the high ground on me just a little bit. Switch to that, kill him. Now, a lot of these players are having a lot more cash than they did when they started. 19 now with 17 up. This is on pace for a really good game. We're going to go back over here, pop a UV, and hopefully we get some holds coming out of downtown. We don't want to get sniped. So we're going to park the car right for the buy station. Pop one. Get another one. Pop another one. We're going to go for a triple. Let's see what we got. So we got a player down here behind us. He's crossing. And then we have another player deeper on orange. We're going to leave that mark. This player actually is flying in. So that's a mistake on my part. I read that wrong. He might be the player that I killed originally. Landing back on his loot. Let's try to see what we could go for. We have a guy in here. We could go for this solo real quick and then rotate back into farmland. Because we are missing a couple pings. Let's see, this guy bottom floor. He's going to be bottom floor as well. No. It told me that he was bottom floor. We still have Gooch to work with. We're fine. I'm gonna get in there quickly. And we're chilling. Good win on that. So now our game is gonna slow down. So our game's slowing down. We have about one second and loadout's about to drop. There we go. We know where those guys are at. I wanna go back and kill those guys just so I can get my loot. I'm gonna go ghost off rip too. Make sure we get our ghosted class. A lot of boxes on me. A lot of boxes on me. Okay, keep this in mind. Keep this in mind because we actually might have a lot of people rotating towards us. We know where two of them are at, don't forget. I hear somebody coming in. So I'm gonna slow down my tempo because if you didn't notice, there's about four boxes that landed near me. So that means a lot of people might be coming in for their class. Might be coming to get ghosts. There's a lot of scenarios in where people could be rotating. Now again, we wanna pick up a pace. Lobby kid died. So we wanna make sure we get our loot and get out, not wait too long. We know where one person's at, so we're gonna go see if we get any eyes on him. Coming in for the rotation. There he is. There's our revenge. That's the play that's gonna kill me. Let's hopefully he picked up one of our weapons. He's gonna have an ASS Val. Not my preferred weapon, but boom, we're at the 20 kill mark. The kills will come now. All we have to do is worry about winning the game. ASS Val, we have ghosts, we have our money. We also have, uh, what's that term? Shields to work with. Now we can't forget that just because we left doesn't mean no one has rotated that way. I, the thing about landing back in late game, there's no area you have secured 100%, right? Here's sniper shots in the distance. We want to make sure we can get an area, lock it down, and check for rotation. This isn't going to be looted here. Self revive kick. That's going to be awesome. We can maybe hold this. That door is going to be open. Quick scan. Nade up there. No movement. No sounds. Kind of pick. Or look for picks, I mean. Our better chance will be to hold off this building. Shots on the distance. A lot of body bags here. Precision now to work with. That'll help us with rotation. Got another one off rotation. 21 now. Just a few left. Five remaining. Less than five remain standing. Players off in the distance. We're going to get a little aggro on this. Try to get center zone now. 
Not a good gun to run in with. I believe that's stopping power as well. At some point, we're gonna have to turn and burn. Stopping power shotgun. This is what we're gonna run into. Let's see what we have. Oh, it was a stopping power. He just obliterated my HP. Unfortunate. That was a fun one though. I guess that kind of shows you guys how to play at a fast paced solos, which, you know, unfortunately, you're still gonna run into them. It was stopping power. I was about to say, my health went down really, really, really fast. So let's watch how this player's playing. So these are the people that you guys aren't too much of a fan of. Three kills. I was his third. Camping up, four alive. We can see if he wins. But honestly, that was that was really cool. Uh, I'm glad you guys are loving live comps. If you want, we can keep it up. We can try another game mode. Uh, it's GG's all around. You got to have that mindset of these are the people you might be running into when you're playing solos. Um, any other gun he had there in that scenario, we would have been chilling. Um... Okay, wait, we get it, y'all. Win the game. Do this. Flex my kills on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you guys are new here, we do a lot of these in-debt live commentary breakdowns. We post them on YouTube. Let's see if he wins. Let's see if he wins. We could actually throw this in a YouTube video. And we could have slowed down our pace and waited for the circle rotation, but I wanted to try to get as many kills as I can towards endgame because we could end up dropping 25, I believe. Because there was five up, including myself. That would have been four kills. Yeah, if I killed everybody. Oh, what are these shots? What are we looking like? You're on PC, brother. Hit him. Hit him, my guy. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous now. What's up, Peak? We'll go into solo duos. You guys want live commentary as well? Let's see. Let's see. Behind you. Oh, my God. He won it. GG's, baby. Five kills. All right, guys, so I'll be quickly breaking down the controller that I'm using right now. It's really good for claw players, but if you guys aren't claw players and you're going to be using back buttons, here's what you're going to want to do. Go ahead and on the first attachment on rear buttons, go ahead and add four up to four buttons. Now, you can get away with two buttons. If you do half claw, you can do one button, but the most you can do is four. If you're looking just to get a few buttons, I would go with a minimum of two. Rumbles, that's basically going to be what you're, uh, when you get vibration in your controller, you could remove them or you could keep them. My preference is I disable them in game, but I keep them in my controller because I like to have weight to my controller. Now, if you want a lighter controller, you should go ahead and disable them there. Going on to the, uh, thumbstick tension. I don't have any, um, thumbstick tension because I use control freak and that alone helps me out with that. Um bumpers these are the two if, you, if you're looking at two features on your whole controller this is what you really need to do add the smart bumpers on the first and top one that's gonna uh, basically mimic every button you click it's gonna sound like a mouse click it's gonna sound crazy the next one you're gonna want to do is hop over to triggers and make sure you have smart triggers on that's gonna allow you to have a really really fast fire rate and a faster trigger finger if those are the only two attachments you do please 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 do, do those two now additionally if you do a d-pad and add that this just adds grip to these buttons right here and the touchpad if you want to add an extra button in there that'll help um make sure you don't miss click and you only click on this white button that you see right here again man then you can add all the aesthetics and all that stuff of course the price will vary depending on the aesthetics and what you add but if you guys are just looking for a basic build you can go ahead and add the smart trigger and the smart bumpers and you guys should be absolutely fine